Mr. Dante? Well, I'm married here. How's business? Well, not so good, Doug, since you had to close the back room. People seemed to smoke more when they were gambling. Oh, not so. Well, we'll have to try to open up Ken real soon so he can sell more cigarettes. Wonderful. Let me know, and I'll go out and order myself a brand new costume. No, I wouldn't get extravagant there. I'll just buy you a spool of thread and you can weave it yourself. what little there is. Listen, woman, if you're just going to run a restaurant, you better get a chef that can cook. This place is going to be haunted. Oh, I don't know. Men who hate their wives might bring them down to drink your coffee. Now, let's not start that again, huh? A jigger of scotch, two fingers of gin, a slug of vodka, and a spray of dry vermouth over the rocks. Only an idiot would order that. Only an idiot would work here without wages. The concoction is for me. I need a drink. Give me a glass of water, Money. And at least put an olive in it. Who can afford olives? Oh, will you two shut up. You know, the last time Lieutenant Waldo closed the gambling room, you opened up again within a couple of weeks. We're waiting, Willie. Yeah, what's the delay? I can explain it with one beautiful word. Money. The green stuff my rabbits used to eat. That's lettuce. That's money. When I was wealthy, my pets had nothing but the best. I remember one year I was sailing for Europe. Oh, my come rabbits off of it. They... Come off of it. You lost your money in Vegas trying to make nine the hard way. Now we're both in the same boat broke. Things really that bad, Willie? Couldn't afford a bingo set. I might be able to get you into the waiters' union. They welcome men of former position. If you don't get back to work, I'll kick you in your latter position. I was only trying to be of service. Uh, Mr. Dante, sir, your highness. You hear something, money? Yes, yeah, sounds like somebody's reading Prince Valiant out loud. Oh, funny, funny, funny. I came back to give you a little information. And I have to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous... Back to Prince Valiant again. What's the point of interest, Nave? Two gentlemen who just came in. Table three. Matt Devlin. Yeah. This ship must really be sinking. Hey, Willie. Get up in here. Oh, yeah. I've seen him fight many times. Just didn't recognize him standing up. <laughs> oh, it's a good one for Joe, okay, Willie. Yeah. Here's one that'll slay you. Get out. It's a good thing you're in your own place. You wouldn't talk to me like that if we were in my joint. That's right, Matt. I wouldn't be caught in your rat hole. You run a crooked game and you got too many punks on your payroll. I still got money behind me, not just bluff. I'd like to help you out, Willie. Yeah, you always were the generous type. But no thanks. Go up on a mission somewhere. Be smart, Willie. I'll make you a deal. I'll furnish the tables, the wheel, the whole outfit. I'll even stake you to an operating capital. What do I give you, my right arm? A 50-50 split of the profits. I like you, Willie. You get around. You got a good clientele here. No deal. Now get out. I don't even like your kind in here. You give the place a bad name. My phone number. In case you change your mind, give me a buzz. Okay, man, I'll keep this. I'd want to call up and borrow one of your boys and think about running a floor show for Halloween. <laughs> you should have quit fighting sooner. You foolish guy, Willie. You better think about my deal. Well, I thought it over. Now get out. Is this a private chat or can a tired cop horn in? Oh, hi, Waldo. Rogue's gallery is just leaving. You should learn to use a knife and fork in a restaurant, Benny. These things are so clumsy. Yeah, I got me a permit. Sure, I know. Don't push us around, Lieutenant. We're not causing trouble. Willie? Yeah, no trouble. The door's that way. The longer the building. Are you digging customers out of the gutters these days? I didn't invite them in here. Same goes for you. I just want to check up. Well, follow me. Follow me. Well, satisfied? <laughs> I guess so. It's awful, isn't it, huh? Every time I look at this empty room, it gets me. Right here. What gives, Willie? For the past few years, you open, I close. You open, I close. Monotonous, isn't it, huh? But this time, you stayed closed. Maybe I've reformed. Well, it doesn't figure. Matt Devlin being here doesn't figure either. If I didn't know you better, you'd figure I'd be cooking up a deal in Dallas, huh? <laughs> oh, now, Walter, come off of You know I don't play down in his league. Incidentally, speaking of that thief, how come you're always closing me down and his joint stays open? You tell me. Every time we plan a raid on Devlin, he's got his place clean by the time we get there. But we'll catch up with him one day. No, uh, voice of confidence, huh? Too bad you don't have me on the force. I'd put him out of business in a week. You? Sure. Like a good cop. I listen to television. You ought to hear me say, sorry, ma'am. Real professional. Come off it, Willie. 
I'd like to see you as a cop. You couldn't even write a traffic ticket. No, no. What's in it for me if I close Devlin down? Police escort for a week. I'll even ride a motorcycle myself. With a siren yet? With full siren. Maybe I can even get the mayor to ride in a sidecar. I know the mayor couldn't even get in a sidecar. Let's get out of here. It depresses me. This would be so pretty. Full of people, full of money. Willie. Hmm? We might joke about Devlin, but he's a real crook. Any tip you can give me on closing him down, I'd appreciate. Sorry, but being you on the force, I insist on cracking my first case alone. I'm serious. Oh, well, am I? You know, well, I can just see myself speeding down Main Street with you in front of me on a motorcycle. Okay, make jokes. I'll see you later. Yeah. Hey, uh, careful drink? Well, uh... You know, Willie, one of these days you're gonna ask me that question when I'm off duty. Are you ever off duty? Yeah. Hey, uh, well, uh, if you get the M.O., send me a code three and I'll put out a 106 and an APB. And you tease me. You happy there's no game in the back? Mm. Well, he is, but I'm not. I had to get some backing someplace, money. What did Matt Devlin want? He wanted to buy in, but I'm not that desperate. Cup of coffee? I'm not that desperate either. I'll be in my office. Sleeping? No, I'm going to take a look at the books. I just love to see that red ink. It reminds me of your eyes. got to do with a bar being clean. Are you trying to say the English aren't clean? How dare you? Well, look, I didn't say anything. He's always criticizing you. All I said was, ah, you... Oh, I forgot. You said you were going to clean up the bar. Oh, yeah, that's... How's business? I've seen more people in an elevator. Who's our remaining customer? I never saw her before, but of course it's my misfortune. She's beautiful, isn't she? Well, for once we agree on one thing. Anybody with her? Not unless she's hiding under the table. She came in alone about an hour ago. Well, I guess I'd better go tell her it's closing time. That's as good an excuse as any. Hi. Hi, yourself. You must be Willie Daddy. That's right. Who must you be? Beverly. Beverly Hudson. Sit down. It's funny. I was just going to ask you to get up. It's closing time. You don't look like the kind of man who would turn out a little girl into the cold. You don't look like the freezing kind. It's a nice warm mink you have around your shoulders. Won't you change your mind and sit down? It just changed. <laughs> now, do you always sit alone in this bus? Do I look the type? That's why I asked. I came to see you. Oh. No flattery, I mean it. I read in the paper where the police closed your back room last month. Oh, so you came to see what an ex-gambler looked like. I know what you look like. It was a picture of you in the paper. A very handsome picture. <laughs> Aren't you nice? Uh-huh. You know, honey, I got to sit and listen to things like this all night and all of it, but uh, you're building up to something. What? Well, I found that when one has a great deal of money, one gets bored easily. This one wouldn't know. True. Why don't you dump all your money in the swimming pool to jump in? Sounds like a wonderful way to drown. I'm quite serious. I put money into prize fighters, I put money into plays, they both flopped. Tell me, uh, where do I figure in all this? I read about that huge fine you had to pay, and I, I got to thinking that you might be a little low on funds. Maybe that's why you hadn't opened up again. Clever girl. I think I can guess the rest. You're tired of plays, prize fighters. You like to own a gambler for a change. Oh, I don't want to own you, Mr. Dandy. I doubt that any woman could, but I'd like to be your partner, finance you so that you could open up again. I, I think it might be exciting. Well, it would at least be different. There, you're a sweet little rich girl. I think I'll run along home and dream up another scheme. This isn't exactly the junior league. Really, no. Does having a woman for a partner disturb you so much you'd turn down a smart deal? I don't know, I've had a woman for a partner. I had a partner who was a woman. I never... 
You're serious, aren't you? Absolutely. Look, you need money. I have plenty. I think we might have quite a partnership. I want excitement. You know, I'm beginning to see this whole thing in a different light. Since you're so anxious to close up here, why don't we adjourn to my apartment and we can discuss it more completely? Do I have a little talk? Should I? Well, you said you liked excitement. I just thought possibly you'd go to his club. Right not. Well, anyway, I'm not going to keep his phone number. He wanted to finance me, too, just like you do. I've decided you're much prettier. You mean you're going to let me? Sure. You said you thought it might be interesting. I think it might be very interesting. When you finish changing clothes, Tony, get on the door. Ed, set up the table, then put change in the cage below one an hour. Right, Willie. I'll see you later. I've got a few things I'll take care of. Hey, how am I going to come out even if you keep taking dough? Never comes out even anyway. You can't count, remember? Oh, no. I see a lot of our good customers here. As you tell everybody we're opening up again? Yeah, but I still don't like it. Tough. Willie. Go and partners with a dame. That's a sucker's plan. You know it. You even let her buy the tables. Oh, uh, she said you had a friend who could get the equipment cheap, so I'll let her get it, sir. Well, I think of a sucker. Well, that makes two of you. My female partner thinks I'm a sucker, too. Don't tell me you and your beautiful angel had a fallen out. Oh, no. Nothing like that. Not yet, anyway. But haven't you noticed her halo? Huh? It's on crooked. Those things always tilt slightly if you start growing horns. I'll come back later and explain it to you. Uh-uh. The boss says you ain't allowed back here. You always lose. My dear man, you touch me deeply. And now, if you will kindly untouch me, I will move forth to give Mr. Dante a message. That's why I'm here. Oh. A brilliant observation. Mr. Dante, two gentlemen, and I use the word loosely, are waiting to see you in your office. Excuse me? Of course. I'll just stay here and watch. Those two men, same punks that were in the other night? Yes. Mm, I thought so. Bring me three cups of coffee, three cups of Marty's coffee. You must hate your visitors intensely. Ah. Hi, boys. Hi, Willie. Sit down. Why, 
soon stand up, you don't mind? He said, sit down. Well, that's a pretty convincing argument. May as well make yourself comfortable. You're gonna be here all evening. While you and your blonde girlfriend fleece all my customers, huh? You catch on quick. I catch on a lot quicker than you think. I knew all along Beverly was using your money. Oh? Sure, it's a silly plan, the kind you'd dream up. You figured I'd go gaga about the dame, let her buy in as a partner, then you'd be all set. That's right. We'll clean up a mat one night and then move out. Right. Sure, you can yell to the cops, but they can't do a thing. Oh, come off of it, Devlin. Tell that stooge to put that gun away. Why do you think I'll let you get away with it? I don't know, but I don't trust you. The gun stays on you. Go on, sit down. All right, have it your way. I said, don't say it's a silly plan, and it wouldn't have worked once I'd have wanted it to. Well, just for the sake of conversation, why would you want it to? You know, Matt, I hate to admit it, but it was a pretty good idea. The girl's kind of cute. When I found out she was working for you, I decided to play along. I just didn't want to ruin your fun by letting you know until now. Pretty smart, Willie. We got you in a hole and you try to cut yourself in. No dice. Oh, Matt, will you get some sense? So you got your crooked tables in my back room. Now tell me something. Who's going to operate them? I got my boys coming in. I got a big flash for you. Your boys have already been in and they're tied up in the alley. You think I'm stupid? Now look. You made me a business proposition. I just told you I accept it. Do you mean it? Well, if I didn't mean it, why would I let you put the tables back there? Now, if you keep me locked up in here, nobody's going to get anything. Okay, Willie, you got a deal. You win. No, 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 Matt. We win. Now, let's understand the deal. Your tables, your money, we split everything 50-50. Dante, you're getting smart. I was smart before you bought your first pair of loaded dice. Oh, one more thing. As long as the roulette table is rigged, I'll operate it. If my customers are going to be cheated, I want to be sure it's done by an expert. Do you know how to operate a leg switch? I was weaned on a rigged table. Okay. But remember, not one wrong move. Your coffee, sir? What coffee? The coffee you told me to bring. Oh, this Texan drives me crazy. Jackson, this is the third time this week you brought in phony orders. You're a sick man. A sick man, but I... I, I... Oh, I I've had enough of you. You're finished. William. A joke's a joke, but... Well, this is no joke, Buster. You're fired. I'll pay him off and see you in the back room. Give this card to Tony. I'll let you in the door. You won't regret this, Willie. I believe we'll make a lot of dough together. I sure hope. So. Coffee down and get out of here. Willie, have you gone mad? I never felt better in my life, Jackson. Yes, but this talk about firing, why, you've been like a father to me. Like a son to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa. I'm getting out your severance pay. I are. The last of the Willie Daddy fortune. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars, but I, I spend it all in one place. I shall protest no further. Exciting start, we will have a betting minimum. There will be no bets for the next half hour at this table under $5,000. <laughs> Very sorry. Very sorry, but for the next half hour at this table, only $5,000 bets will be taken. Do I uh, have any takers? One side, please. Ah, we have one gambler. Any other takers? What is this, Daddy? This guy's your employee. Well, he was. I fired him, remember? Yeah, but $5,000 bets. Maybe he's been saving his tips. Any other takers? Get sent for trouble. I don't like this. Would you kindly place your bet, sir? Very well. 5000 on the black. $5,000 is being bet on the black, ladies and gentlemen. Gather on. Watch the action. $5,000, one little spin of the wheel. Here we go. Where will she drop? Number 26 in the black. Pay the man. $5,000. Oh, no. 
Let it ride, it's only 10,000. Only 10,000, he said, let it ride. Another spin of the wheel for $10,000. The winner is black, number 15. Pay the gentleman $10,000. You now have $20,000, sir. What is your desire? $20,000. Let it ride once more, please. The gentleman said, let it ride. $20,000 in one spin of the wheel. Good luck, sir. Come on, Benny. We're stopping this game. Hold it, gents. The boss wants to enjoy the action. Right from here. $20,000. And it came up black, number 28. Pay the gentleman $20,000. Let it ride. Let it ride, he said. Pardon me. Willie, we have 40,000 operating capital to start with. He's got it all now. The bank's clean. Well, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but you've broken the bank. Well, this never happened in Monte Carlo. Now, if you'd care to bet all your winnings against the property, furnishings and all, I'd be glad to put it up. Spin the ball, boy. You would be playing black, of course? Black. And black it is, number 11, the winner. Here you are, sir, the deed. You win the place. You, sir, are a champion loser. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. That's all, the game is off. I suggest you wait until the new management has a chance to get organized. As for you, sir, you should go to your new office and lock the deed in your new safe. Splendid idea, my boy, splendid. Well, tough luck. You'll never get away with this, Danny. Mad, it's all a gamble. So we lost. It's all in the game. We're still partners. Partners in what? He lost the operating capital I put up in the place besides. We're partners in nothing. Now, that's a pessimistic outlook. You hear that? That's a signal. We found Waldo and his boys on the way back to raid us. What? Cheer up, Peter. I'll split the fine. Of course, Waldo will confiscate all your equipment, but, well, that's, that's life. Inside, folks. Well, welcome to the party, Waldo. He's just in time to dissolve a beautiful partnership. And by the way, you better oil up that motorcycle. At least we put Devil in other business. Yeah, but Waldo confiscated his equipment and all the money. That still leaves us broke. I know. I got a dime in my pocket. That's enough for a good cup of coffee. Oh, cut it out, will you, Willie? Come, come. I don't like my help sitting around. What? As new owner of the premises, I must order you either to get busy waiting on the tables or to leave the establishment. Oh, wait a minute now. He won the joint. He's the boss. Fellas, Jackson. You will please address me as Mr. Jackson. And I'm his general manager. Both you guys are off your rockers. Very well. I, I give you back your place, Willie, on condition that I'm allowed in the back room every now and then. After ten years, my losing streak is broken. I may win back my millions. Oh, face life, Jackson. The game is rigged. Ridiculous. Your place was saved by my good luck. <laughs> well, okay, fellas. Have it your way. Willie. Oh, excuse me. Got a date. Date? Yeah, aren't I glutton for punishment? Don't worry about us, though. We got a police escort. Shall we? Good night, boys. Olympic athlete Bruce Jenner joins Merv Griffin tonight at 6. Stay tuned now for the adventures of Robin Hood, starring Richard Green. It's up next on KTSF.